Hurricane Irene is still days away from possibly swiping New England, but some local residents we talked with aren't taking any chances and have already started preparing, especially in areas prone to flooding. Eyewitness News reporter Naka Nuosu is live from our mobile newsroom with more. Well, Susan, we spent the evening down in Warwick where we could already feel Irene's presence, even though she hasn't quite made it here yet. And some residents we spoke to are taking precautions, while others are actually excited about a hurricane. It's called the calm before the storm, a flapping flag and rustling leaves from an ocean wind. Some say it's a sign of things to come. The winds are here to stay until... Monday or something. The, the winds are here, so. Hurricane Irene could impact Rhode Island on Sunday. The Category 3 storm could cause a water surge and several parts of the state could see ocean flooding. That includes coastal sections of Warwick. But managers here at Iggy's on Oakland Beach aren't worried. Can't wait to have a hurricane here. You want to get a hurricane here? It's been a long time. Plus, it drones up business down here. A lot of people come down to check that stuff out. It's really cool. I know they can be very dangerous and you know, obviously you got to be careful during them, but I'm excited for one. I mean, you know, it's been a long time, 20 years. Irene is already blowing through the Bahamas, images that have some Rhode Islanders preparing for the worst. Emergency kit type of stuff, you know, the water, the batteries, and uh, um, medication for people. And many Rhode Islanders we spoke to remember Hurricane Bob from 20 years ago, and they say we can handle anything Irene brings. With the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Neka Nuosu, Eyewitness News.